you know, had some innings that were clean, especially the fifth and the sixth. Um, you know, we got into trouble with the leadoff double. You know, we got a, a little bit cautious there and with the, with the base on balls and had a chance to put a couple of guys away. Their bottom of the lineup, you know, did a lot of the damage today. Oki had a couple of big hits. Uh, but, you know, he, uh, you know, he, he, he maneuvered his way fairly well. He gave us an opportunity there. We, we kind of squandered uh, defensively in terms of execution late for them to separate a little bit. Um, but, you know, we battled. Uh, Fires obviously had a good day, you know, the strikeouts, double digits, and, you know, he had us guessing a lot, I think, and in between a lot of pitches. So we didn't muster a lot of offense there. We still gave our chance, self a chance at the end. Uh, but, uh, you know, couldn't get a big hit there in the ninth to keep the rally going. Their speed seemed to cause issues late in the game. Anything that you look back on that you – yeah, it was a little bit of a problem. Well, it's uh, – uh, you know, I was hoping, you know, if – even if Marisnik reaches earlier in the count there, I was going to probably give give you a shot uh, at Springer just because I knew he had a better chance of, of, you know, containing the stolen base. But he had the however many pitches before the walk, and so I went ahead and switched it up. And, you know, we, we weren't quick enough to the plate to give ourselves a chance on the stolen base. You know, Esco, I'm not sure if he looked him back on the throw to first there, but he got kind of a walking lead to go ahead and take 90 feet there. We didn't execute the throw. Altuve um, talked to Buddy about you know he was going to try to run at some point and we didn't we didn't quicken up enough there, and then we got caught on the ball in the dirt where Jimenez didn't have much of a chance peripherally to see how much Altuve was treating down the line. So they made some real aggressive plays, intuitive, uh, put pressure on us and 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 we couldn't stop them. All that being said, you get two on and Sano up in the ninth inning is a tie and run. Well, you know you're, you're hoping that you find a way to get some base runners. Um, you know with. Uh, three, four, five, potentially, especially the two guys get on, which they did. And, uh, you know, we, we just couldn't, you know, maybe couldn't find a hole and, and, and kept got a run in. But, you know, you're looking for a hit there before Vargi finally grounded out to end it. The, uh, the Oki double in the fourth, uh, unless you're playing him more shallow, but was that the, the best route? Um, how do you feel I haven't seen the route specifically. I, I you know, it's, I think we're all spoiled when Byron's out there. It looks a little different when someone else is out there. Uh, you know, I kind of rechecked the charts there when I when I saw how we you know were trying to protect against maybe throwing the guy out with two strikes, um, shade him to left center. We were we were in a pretty good spot given what we knew. He just got a breaking ball down over the middle that he was able to to pull into that triangle out there. Well, and the fires uh, not use his curve to like the middle of the innings. He kind of. Use that the last couple of innings of his outing? Uh, we saw a little bit early. I think it increased as it went on. I think good pitchers try to hold on to a pitch as much as they can if, if the other stuff's working to give you a different look third time around. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of fastball change up early. Um, you know, he can elevate the fastball even at eighty eight to ninety, you know, it plays. You know, he's he's got a good feel of how to use his how how to use his pitches.